We back. K-pop. On lock. Coo. Oz. And our guest today, Kruger Dunn. Hello. Hi, Kruger. Welcome to the show. Hi, Austin. Thanks for having me. That's wonderful, right? We've been just ballooning, getting all sorts of fans and fun time. We thought it's probably getting a little stale. Uh, We might bring some fresh meat to the channel. Mm -hmm. So that's why we got this sexy beast joining us today for this special. uh, Because you also have a special coming out. Oh, nice segue. Kruger, big time LA comic, uh, owner, uh, owner and proprietor of the best comedy club near me in Melrose, in uh, right in the heart of Hollywood, in Cal- California, Los Angeles. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. So go check that out if you happen to be in LA. Come catch a also. show. It's fun. Yeah. They are good. Yeah. I've been to it. It's a nice, um, well, sometimes you bigger, do the bigger room charity yeah. shows, but they also have a, a more intimate one that's like 30 or 50 seats That's you really get to know. And you have big name comments and you're in a room with them. If you're a a comedy fan, great place to go. But also, he's coming out with his own special, Freshly Recorded, that just came out today. 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 Yeah, go check it out right after this. Sweet. So go to that over at... uh, Full Dork. Full Dork. It's the channel. We'll link to it in the description. But just remember, Full Dork. Full Dork. Because he is full-bellied and a dork. A dork. Huge dork. At least by his own... Yeah. uh, his own branding. Uh, but we're getting into it. We had covered uh, KDA for two songs. Because mm-hmm. you would, that was the one uh, K pop that he was familiar with before. But now we're going to move into something you I'm don't excited. know. I'm excited. I said, What do I know about Kruger? I know that he likes space mm-hmm. because he's True. a big Trek fan like me. True. He likes interdimensional travel True. because he wishes he lived a different life. True. He said, If I could only be the alternate version of Kruger. Mm-hmm. Where I ran the K-pop channel and Austin was the one that ran the comedy club. Exactly. That would be the dream. That's the dream. Yeah, we're trying. We're doing crossover here. And then also pirates. Everyone loves pirates. Yeah. This guy especially. He's always going. Arr. Every time he gets up from a chair, he goes. Arr, my sciatic. <laughs> and so, so we're gonna pop out a tease. You guys know a tease. Great guy band. They come out with a lot of one. We've been watching uh, this series of them. Nice. So their their space their theme is their uh, interdimension interdimensional time traveling space pirates. Okay. And they go through different dimensions, and then there's uh, an alternate in one of the dimensions they go to. There's this like sort of fascistic society that's taken over and controls the mind of everyone. Oh. So they go in scary. there and wreck house and try and bring down those. Uh, leaders and free the minds of the people and then they escape okay. on their big uh, pirate ship they have wow. a pirate ship that flies interdimensionally and they sound more heroic than pirate they are but they have yeah, the they're good song. pirates oh good pirates. what's Got the it. what's the song where they're just like going crazy and like crazy form crazy form that was a good one they're just like bashing stuff and at first i thought they were just anarchists like they took they're like, you know, we've been doing so much good in the world. We're just going to wreck house in this one <laughs> world for the hell of it. <laughs> so I figured vacation. But no, they were bringing down an oppressive society mm, nice. by doing that stuff. So this one's Wonderland. Do we, what do we know about this one, Koo? Is this following Nothing, we, in that same storyline? I would imagine it does. I don't know where it fits because we keep jumping around with yeah, these guys. We figured they're time travelers, so we don't need to do it linearly. They have a, they have a lot of great music. Very on but theme. I think you're gonna like these guys. They I got a lot well. of good, good mixes, great changes up in the videos, and they have great production value in their videos. And they actually are behind. I think they write the the storylines and uh, do some of the the thematic planning for how the video is gonna be nice. shot. Uh, let us know, the Tease fans. What are the Tease fans called again, Koo? I think it's a tiny. A tiny. Yeah. All right, you with tinies out there, uh, let us know how deep they get into it. They do like an A? Yeah. yeah. They do. They have like two flags. One of their flags, ironically, looks like the anarchy symbol. Oh. So we got confused, but it's for a tease. But they got have like it. two or three flags. Very cool. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, so let's get Check into it. Out. Check it out. A tease wonderland. Keep on. On lock. Let's hit it.
damn it. <laughs> Ave Maria again. Why does this keep happening, friends? Look. If Can they hear that on the stream? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I believe I so. don't get so, shut down. Yeah. Go to just look up Aaron Neville Ave Maria if you want to. If you want to watch that now it's gonna but, get copyrighted yeah it's going well we're gonna hit so many like those video game ones that we just covered with kda i'm like we're gonna have to deal with league of legends we're gonna have to deal with mm-hmm. video, video game developers the band itself the avatar makers what can so, you do k-pop must be heard worldwide yeah we spread don't care. the word if it's we'll put it up for free we don't need the ad money if i mean we could use the money but <laughs> but We'll find we'll find another way because it's just too much fun and too cool. We have to show it. We do it for you guys. So let's get into it. A tease, Wonderland. I ask me now, instead of mine, is the police, where's the young and white? We gonna find new way to be mine. She do got bored and gold, cause I'm in gold. Robot arm? Is it flying their flags? This song has got a good beat. I like the bottom beat to it that it doesn't go for. I've noticed in my limited exposure to K-pop so far, the music videos are very cinematic. They start fast and then build and they introduce all the characters and then the song almost restarts about a minute in. Yeah, they'll go like through. Like every time. They do like big changes. Yeah. Change ups in their songs. Yeah, I like it. Keeps the keeps it hype. And some of the some of them are like huge bands. Uh like there's one band that has 26 members in it. 26. It's like a ska band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except they're they're all and they're they're all multi talented. They're like singers, dancers, and uh, and rappers, and they all kind of have. They'll be like main dancers, do they play main instruments? singers, main rappers. Some of yeah. them do. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That makes you more sense. You don't see them in too many playing instruments in the videos, but they will do it in a in their live performances. Nice. We've seen a couple acoustics. Some of them are very talented, but a lot of them write the music a lot of them have like advanced degrees in wow. filmmaking and music design i believe it so they go through look at that staircase i know i want to go Incredible. i always i always pause in the worst moments no that's great screen. look at the juxtaposition yeah. of dark to light from the outside in to make the nice performer really pop yeah. shadow falling on the stage this is a the shot took a long time to set up yeah they have great it's yeah. in their first videos when they started out they were they were filming in uh just the desert desert scenes and it was yeah so it was like lower budget it still mm. looked great but it was you could tell they came into money but yeah. also the company behind them really supported them and put a lot of money to them and they said we're going to push forward uh to point i think they spent a lot of their money to help make, make these guys big and it was worth it because yeah. they came They're up big it. oh yeah gotcha. Fire. 
Where's that staircase going? That is It's like an M C Escher you situation. Could be, I, I know. Think. You could be walking up Infinite to staircase. the end of time. They have some cool shots though, but don't they have they have like great dance competi- Chore- competition competition composition. Compos- yeah, yeah, choreography. Good levels. Yeah, and just a cool yeah. mix of bringing in the hip hop and like yeah. doing it. There's Very uh Do you remember Eve? The early two thousands, late nineties rapper. I remember. I don't. The remember female rapper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The rap break there. The intro reminded me a lot of her song. Nice. The way they brought it in. Nice. Connected like the marching band into the beat. Mm. That was cool. Right. They have like, well, I don't know what these guys are. This, they're masked, and they've got their hats. They almost look like stewards for an airline. Yeah. Maybe they. It's like a dangerous airline. Maybe they run the blimp. Yeah, or, mm. the internet, the, interdimensional traveling blimp. Look, someone's got to clean the pirate ship and leave That's people true. their rooms. Look how clean those floors are. After they're done pirating, they take care of business. <laughs> <laughs> they got a nice coat of wax on there. If you have something nice, take care of it. It's I just know. very important. They've, it's just a life lesson. This guy earned the Iron Cross. Wow. So he Looks like did, some Purple Hearts. Yeah, yeah they're above it. Very awarded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It almost turned into a sea shanty at the end there. That's dope. I like it a lot. Is. So it seemed like they're almost storming the palace. They're like, we're on yeah. our way, we're going to get our friend back, and we're yep. going to take you bums down. Yep. They're all holding. There's something you want. This is one of their flags, out there. You got to go for it. Because the other ones have the A on it. Is this? I don't know. I haven't. Let us know uh, in the comments, fans, if this is one of their flags that they fly high on the pirate ship. That looks or... like yeah. their symbol was like a little bit too long and they didn't leave enough space. So, you know, when you start right. writing letters down the side of the paper, it's just that's a, what look like it happened. a really long yeah. E. That's yeah. definitely, I mean, you can see the Z up top. That's definitely, oh, yeah, yeah. That's definitely their symbol. Yeah. Oh, is it Z? Oh, yeah. A-T's, right? A T's, right? Yeah. Oh, that's the T, maybe, instead of the Z. Yeah, I don't know. T. Yeah. Well, they could put that on a T-shirt, and then it'd be a T Z. Oh. Yeah, think about That's it. That's good. Help you, you guys with that. marketing. A T's, we'll if you're out there watching this, and get in contact the with these marketing geniuses. They will take you to the next level. That's right. They're That's gonna awesome. be uh, at Coachella. Yeah, that was uh, one of the reasons we picked this because they are going to be at Coachella, and you're in LA. Yeah. Get a ticket. Hop get out there. there. Get on a live stream with us and yeah. show us everything so we don't have to also pay. <laughs> but that took an unexpected cheap turn. But <laughs> yeah, you should go. Have fun Look, and I stop by LA. I put everything into production value and paying scientists to make composite K-pop songs that turn out to just be uh, Wham mm. songs. That was a bummer. I can't name a single Wham song. I was going to play along. So. What? What are you talking about? What's the, what's no, we're big never one? gonna dance again. Oh, well, yeah. Guilty feet have got put, no rhythm. Yeah, they oh. put on Jitterbug. The Jitterbug. Bug into my heart. That one, really? 
It's a yeah. classic. They claimed it was a composite of all K-pop bands. And then I went on air without really looking into it because I put trust in the people I hired. Mm-hmm. Didn't work out. Dang. And then they Are there any in. K-pop cover bands? K-pop covers a lot of yeah, songs. Yeah, they do a lot of covers. Okay. A lot of uh, hip-hop hip hop covers and stuff. But a lot of time they'll be like uh, training. Like we watched Last Evaluation of this group Baby Monster mm-hmm. that just released their second album. Classic. And they, they're asked to do like, like do a cover of this song, make it your own. And so there's a lot of good ones. Nice. A lot of sampling. And they also, they adopt a lot of different musical styles and make it their own. So that's, that's one of the it. cool things about K-pop music. So, very good. That was a tease, though. They're going to be uh, at Coachella. So is La Serafine. Ooh. Uh, they're another group coming up. They got some good, good music, too. So check it out. Uh, go down to L.A. Those of you, give a shout out if you are going to make that concert. Let us yeah. know. We'd love to hear about what to see down the line. And uh, if you're staying in L.A. before you move into Palm Springs, go check out the best comedy club near me on Melrose in Hollywood, right by the Grove. And uh, check out... Full Dork. Uh, full dork. <laughs> I keep wanting to say low tech. I don't know why. It's Full Dork. Check out uh, Kruger's channel, Full Dork, where he's got a brand new special coming out that's filmed at that theater. It's very funny. Go watch I'm it right told. after this. This uh, first. This watch first. like 10 of these, because this channel is the best on YouTube. Right. You're then right. go ahead and check mine out. And watch you'll, that. You'll laugh. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's a little palate cleanser. Get some good laughs in. And then when you're all laughed out and you just want to be uh, serenaded to sleep with a grainy voice harping out, uh, in between some of your favorite songs, come back to me and Coop. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. A great time. Thank you so much for joining us. Anything else you guys want to put out about uh, a tease and these? What, what do you think of a tease? I enjoyed it very much. And brand new fans. Super talented. The Super dance talented. moves were excellent, but not too much. They like picked their moments, then they hit like bam, 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 bam. Right. They weren't just doing it throughout. You yep. know what I mean? A lot of the guys, no. they could do like hard. It's almost like a, a kung fu or martial arts punch yeah. where they lock hard yeah. in their moves, so it's cool. And they all go at a different height. One will lean, the other stands taller, right, exactly. and they look. They make great effects. I don't know what that's called. There's a term for it in dancing, but I'm not a mm. not right, an expert. Man. You dancers out there, let us know. Because some of you are probably. I'm sure there are a lot of people that are super into dancing that are into you gotta be. Uh, these bands. Can't, these guys are great. That know that the technical stuff that we don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll be back for more tees. Do you Wonderland, take, another great video. DTs? Do you take fan submissions? Yeah. we take. Give us recommendations. As always, it'll go on yeah. the list. We're thinking of getting a Patreon up uh, eventually where we might give some more exclusive content. Ooh. Give a, press, a little precedence. Get you a little up higher on the list if you have songs that you especially want to hear. Uh, so we'll let you know about that down the line. But for now, just keep commenting. We'd love to uh, hear what you guys know about the band, about this particular video. Where's this ball in the Atiz storyline? I'm thinking they're storming the castle to get their friend back Mm -hmm. is the theme of this one. But it's called Wonderland. Doesn't seem like much of a wonderland with people tied up in chains and walking up endless staircases to nowhere. Maybe they're going to unlock the wonderland. Uh Yeah, that's probably the doors opening. The doors of perception. Change your mind, change your life. That's right. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, Kruger. Thanks for having this me. This has been a fun time. And we hope to have you back next time you're up in the area. Or Absolutely. maybe me and Ku, if we can get it together and scrape together several hundred dollars. Yeah. Maybe I actually we'll all heard meet that, in Coachella. I heard that you can get like a three-day pass and then go to two days and then sell the last day or go to one, one day, day and then sell it to someone for the last two days you absolutely can do that so if we could get the money are they not sold out already though no, i think i think they are sold out no it's nope. weekend two and weekend two is not sold out uh, wow. wow and it's going to be a tease is either on monday friday or sunday i think they're on friday and then la seraphim is on saturday unfortunately they're not on the same day that would be the ideal thing yeah. if we could just do one day but I feel like we can't go down there and then only watch no, one of the two. You can't slight Seraphim. No. Also, the Rose. The Rose. The yeah. Rose, yeah. They're probably on Sunday because they just love to do that to us. They know. <laughs> they're trying to 
Squeeze a little extra cash out of the K-pop community. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on here. You know what you're up to. But anyway, we're just glad they're playing and that they're getting the audience and breaking out and becoming a success because we're big fans of Atiz and Lux Seraphim and a lot, a lot of these fans. So we'll be back soon. Kruger, hope you come back. Thanks for being on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Thanks for having right, me. See. You want to give K-pop on lock outro? We'll yeah. go. Koo, Oz, K-pop, Kruger, K-pop, Unlock. We'll be back for the next one, guys. Thanks for joining us. Peace.